Hey, we will now bring the overlay and page darkening series of videos to a beautiful crescendo of dorkiness by demonstrating how to build an application like YouTube's Lights Out for Earth Day, where the whole page stays active, but it gets dark and goes into multimedia entertainment mode. But it gets dark, but everybody can still click on everything on the page, you know, everything stays active. Most of the fundamentals being used in this application were discussed in our last three videos, so this simply combines the logic of those somewhat to make a different kind of application. So being as such, I'm not going to waste my time or any of your time. I'm going to throw the logic upon you very hastily, okay? And after watching the video, you might even say, Adam, man, what the hell was that? I want my friggin' money back. That wasn't a tutorial, you just threw code at us and ran away. Okay, here's all the code, and let's render this in our favorite browser, whatever browser we like best. And now, let's pause the video. And this one is different from the overlay in the respect that everything in the page will stay active when I go into theater mode or entertainment mode. And all it does is, we're using the same light switch mechanism here. And the light switch goes up and down, and if the page is light, when it, which it is by default, it'll change the page to use a dark style sheet, which we discussed switching style sheets with JavaScript instantly on a page in the last video tutorial. So I'm just combining a couple of things like the light switch and the switching of style sheets. So basically that's pretty much all it is. Now, the code for the light switch, see how we are targeting this image tag here with the ID of light switch? That's down here in our HTML. So we have image tag here, ID, light switch. And in the uh, theater mode tutorial we did, the one that has the thumbnail with the little red curtains, the theater mode tutorial, is where we established this little light switch. We discussed how all of this is working. But there's a little bit of different JavaScript in here. And that's what I'm going to explain to you guys. So I'm not going to explain anything else because all of this that you see in front of you right now, and by the way, you can get to this code by clicking on the link under the video. Go to develop PHP, snatch the code if you want to experiment with the code that I have here. So everything else is the same from what we did in the other videos. So, and the only little difference is this little bit of JavaScript is just a tad bit different. So I'm going to explain it. First thing we do is create a variable that references the page style element which is this guy up here, which is the link for the style sheet. That's how we're swapping out our style sheet. We target that element and then we swap it out by targeting its href attribute. Then we make a variable for light switch. That allows us to easily reference the light switch ID, which is this guy right here, this image tag. So that's all those two variables are doing, is referencing those two HTML elements. Now we have an if condition that says if the mode is equal to default which you can see var mode is a variable I put outside of the function up top so right when the page loads it knows that it's in default mode so when the user clicks on the light switch we're evaluating to see if mode is equal to default then we're going to change the page dark by switching to the dark style sheet which we already showed how to do in the previous video then we make sure the light switch is in the down position which we discussed in the theater mode video then we switch the title attribute of that image tag which is the light switch to say something else let me show you what I mean so we're looking at it and we first come to the page by default it's going to say turn the lights off you see now if I turn the lights off and then my mouse is over the light switch it says turn the lights back on so that's just a little bit of logic you can throw in there if you want and then the last thing we do in this if condition to turn the page dark is we say mode equals dark. That way the next time they hit that light switch we know it's going to go into the lit page again, the bright page, the default page. So basically when they hit the light switch, if the mode is default, you run these four lines of code. Else if the mode is dark, which it will be every other time the light switch is hit, then you run these four lines of code. And that's pretty much all there is to it. All right. So I'll talk to you guys next time, later on, and I'm going to make a video like tomorrow or something. I'm sorry it took so long to make this one, but you know, life gets crazy in the summer around here in the woods. We got to do a lot of things.